Hi everyone. It's uh, been a while since I've posted, so I thought I'd show you what I've been up to. We have a brand new sand fall. Uh, I fashioned it out of an old, um, an old fountain. Cut it, re-epoxied, epoxied some uh, stone onto it, and because it had a white kind of base instead of using white sand, I used black sand. As you can see, we got some other little stones as well for the aquascaping. There's a little sponge filter in the back. We're going to put some koi sword tails in here and maybe set up a little breeder breeder tank. There's a quiet one, 4,000 pump in the back driving everything. But um, I'm pretty happy with it. The only thing that uh, seems to be a little issue is, as you can see right here, there's a little bit of swirling, like turbulence at the bottom. And so right here, sand has kind of come out. So I have to keep refilling it with sand. But I'm gonna tweak that um, a little bit later. Uh, on to the 46 gallon tank. Um, let's see where he is. We do have a new addition for Welcome Back. And he's right down there and that's very difficult to see him. But it is uh, an Australian lungfish. He's probably about six inches long, really shy. I know he eats, but we never really see him eat. He's pretty much kind of hanging out and pretty sedentary and they're not very active until they get bigger but we've had him uh, maybe about a year and then the uh, blue-eyed pseudomongol uh, Gertrude I think these guys are doing pretty well I lost a couple of them but they were stunted and kind of strange the males have real nice white uh, dorsal fins um, the update on the hundred and 40 gallon is all of the geos are in so there's 12 geos uh, in there uh, they're looking really good really healthy very happy uh, not really any aggression uh, and I don't know if we'll be able to see him but he does come out from time to time there's this teeny tiny dwarf pike and uh, he's doing really well in there as, as well so um, real happy with the way this tank turned out. I mean, it feels it feels full in a good way, like not too empty and not too overstocked. Uh, and then the uh, Buddha tank, the 125 gallon corner tank. We've got uh, the archers, uh, the banded archers. They're pretty pretty cool. Still kind of working on getting these guys to eat a little bit more. And then on the bottom, let's see here. We've got the Laprede, oh, there's a little algae there, Laprede uh, bikers, there's a poly biker biker, um, I can tell that one's a little bit different, and then let's see if we can find our little guy in the back, I can't, he's probably hiding out in the Buddha himself, but there's a little water cow, Gobi, um, in there as well, sometimes he actually buries himself in the sand, so, um, yeah, that's Fish Club uh, update.